Hey, what's happening everybody? My name is Harrison and welcome to episode one of this uh, Recycler View Android tutorial where we'll be building an Android app that will deal with Recycler Views. We'll be pulling JSON data from Reddit's open API. And again, at any point in time, you can always go to my GitHub page, my GitHub page down below in the comments and grab the code. But if you want to follow along and build the application with me, awesome, then let's do it together. So if this is your first Android tutorial or your first like introduction to the Android platform, then this should be like an awesome start. I'm gonna try my best to start from scratch. Um, I guess I do kind of expect that you know a little bit of a Java. Um, but uh, again, if you're brand new to Android, hopefully I go slow enough and hopefully I explain enough so you understand what's going on. Uh, so without any further ado, let's, uh, let's attack. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up Android, Android Studio. If you don't already have it, uh, so if you don't already have it, let's go to Google right now and just go over some quicks. Um, again, Android Studio, you can download it very easily. Uh, that's not right. Don't search for Google on Google. <laughs> Android Studio. Again, this link will be in the description. Android Studio. Go ahead and download download Android Studio for Windows. I believe that comes with the Java SDK. Well, if you download it for Mac, it'll come with the Java SDK. If it doesn't come with the Java SDK for Windows, again, that's very easy as well. You'll go Java SDK download and you'll download it from Oracle uh, oh yeah the JDK uh, yeah but you'll definitely want the JDK click on download under here I think I'm rocking with the uh, 7 actually but I think this is the update 8 so again just find your platform if you're running the 64-bit windows this will be your download right here if you're running the 32-bit windows then this will be your download right here the dot the uh, x86 so again, that's Android Studio and the Java SDKs. Uh, if you watch the uh, earlier video, episode one, kind of the prequel, you'll see the final product that we'll be producing. It's the, it's just the populating the list through JSON data. Um, so if you do want to see the final project, you can jump over to that last video, episode zero. There'll probably be a link in the description as well. So if you want to see that quick one. But um no, let's get started. So the first thing we do, we have Android Studio up and running. Let's go. Alright, so let's go ahead and open up a new Android Studio project. Okay, uh that was some love. Uh, Alright, so now you can name it whatever you want. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and call it uh, my recycler list probably my recycler list because it'll be a list of recycle views and of data or whatever so I think that should be alright uh, where do I want to save it my C drive is really small it's just like it's like a 128 uh, gig SSD so I gotta save it to another folder um, Android studio projects okay everything looks alright let's go next uh, here's where you choose your minimum SDK like right now they usually pinpoint to API 14 the ice cream sandwich one just because I believe that was kind of like the first most stable kind of Whatever I believe it was on a lot of devices. I still think there's some devices that run it. So whatever So you're really attacking most of the Android users But if you're using some of the advanced features and you want to X out the whole ice cream sandwich generation then upgrade it uh, Do whatever you want, but again API 14. That's fine next so usually I'll always start with a blank activity. Um, later on in the tutorial, we will be going to fragments. So like, if I wasn't necessarily walking through this, um, it wouldn't be weird for me to go with the fragment one, the blank activity with fragment. But um, I'm just gonna start with blank activity and then you'll see how easy it is to add in a fragment or to kind of make those changes. So blank activity, we're super cool with that. Next. Activity name again. I'll stay with main activity. It's simple easy enough. It just shows that that's the main activity that show that'll be a uh, running the application Layout name activity main. That's fine uh, Title again. Everything's fine. Let's go up and finish this and create the application well, Here we go. I was like wait why why is it not doing anything, but all right here we go My background is Ori and the Blind Forest, by the way. That's 
a rocking game. They killed it. Uh, uh, minimize that. All right. Uh, this should be kind of how it looks on your end. Um, you know, I might have a darker background because I went to themes and I have the darkula theme just just for my eyes. You know, when it gets light, you kind of want a darker theme just so your eyes can adjust a little bit better. Um, up here, twenty two. I might just go down to 21. I've had better luck with that in the past. Um, yeah, for whatever, I might not have the SDK downloaded like it should. But if you're missing anything, you can easily go up to this guy right here, the SDK manager, and he'll, so if, so if this is your first time into Android Studio, you'll probably definitely have to go inside here and download whatever SDK tools you need. You know, I think it shows I do not have the M series, the most updated one. Yeah, so I'm kind of up to the 21s. I haven't really updated past that. And I know the preview build for M just came out recently, but again, I'm cool with 21, so I'll just rock with that. Uh, right up here, you might want to change this to project. That's where you kind of get to see all the folders that you need. Um, I don't know why they start you at Android. It might just be easier, maybe just for a few things here and there. But again, what we're going to want to be looking at the project side panel. Uh, what do we do from here? Uh, layout, travel. All right. No, everything's looking good. It seems like we're ready to start. Okay, so I guess before we go any further, again, like I'm definitely shooting from the hip here. Like I don't necessarily have the best agenda or like an outline of how we're gonna make this, but um, I guess let's get some more administrative things out of the way. Um, let's go ahead and download the volley.jar package. We'll be adding that to our library field here, or our library package or a folder, and it'll allow us to use. Um, Java calls, code calls that we can't call without the volley jar. So let's go ahead and do that. I have the link down in the description. So let me just pull up my notes page. Should be. We're gonna get it through Android Hive. Android Android Hive is awesome. They have awesome tutorials. So if you're looking to do something else or extend Android learning, Android Hive is a great place to go. Um, again, copy and paste that URL in. This is where they're talking about Bali and the library and everything. But if I, but if you scroll down, they have a direct download that is super cool. Um, yeah, right here, Bali jar, and immediately downloads. I trust these guys, so go ahead and keep. And I got it. Let me get out of that. Bring up my downloads folder. Right, volley jar. I'm gonna go ahead and, and control C, copy that. I'm gonna go ahead and paste that in the library folder. Control V. Volley jar, yes, yes, yes. Okay. And now we have it there. And now I believe we have to update the Gradle. Is that what we're doing next? Yeah. No. Let's go ahead and sync the grail. Again, so you sync the grail because the grail is kind of pulling, you know, certain things that are important for your application. Um, you can see down here in the dependencies that the path of the library it should include anything that has a jar after it. So and our volley package has a jar after it, so please include the jar. I'm calling pack. Everything should be there. I think there's some other dependencies we need. Okay, so we just added in the volley jar package and we're filling out the dependencies. And while we're here in the Gradle, and again this is the build.gradle it should app should be in the tab there's a other gradle um, there's this gradle as well which we don't want we want the one that's kind of under the source file is it under source uh, 
uh, I mean, it's it's under source, but it's it, it, it's it's under the app. So it's under the app folder. And um, so we want this build Gradle, and that's this right here. There's another Gradle. This one we don't really touch. I don't think we ever touch it unless like a certain uh, a certain situation. Uh, settings Gradle. Again, I don't think we ever touch. Um, so yeah, um, in this Gradle again, that's build.gradle under the app folder. Let's go ahead and add the dependencies again. You might not really know what I'm adding or why I'm adding it, but we're adding it so we can use their Java calls later or, or, or their API so we can make certain things happen. So again, let's go ahead and add, what are we gonna add? We're gonna add the card view, just because a card view was a very popular type to use with recycler views. Android dot support uh, card view dash v7 semicolon plus you do the semicolon plus um, and then end that just saying if anything comes out to version 7 like version 7.1 or .2 or uh, you know if there's any update just use whatever's updated in that version 7 and what else do we want uh, we want the recycle view because we're going to be using recycle views so let's go .com Android dot is it support? Yeah, it's support, right? Dot. And I'm just looking at my notes as well because um, I can't remember this. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, view dot v7 semicolon um, plus. Let's hope all this stuff's right. Um, what else are we using? Uh, we're using. Uh, let's go ahead and just add in the others just in case. Um, just in case we use them. Dot support palette dash v7 semicolon plus. Ah, where's the plus on plus? Um, <laughs> compile com dot Android dot support support again dash four is it twenty one point three again you can probably do four um top it right there you can probably do v four um twenty one or v four plus but I'm just going ahead and adding this in it's just a different way to do it I mean so it'll never go above that you can see. Um, where's the area? Um, Compound Android support support. So just keep going. Uh, we'll see what happens. And the last dependency will be flexible divider. Yeah, I think one of these is for the endless scroller. So that's why it might be kind of different recycler view dash flexible oh this is for the uh, this could be for the um we, we put a line under each row so I believe this is for the design of the list um, why is this one wrong uh, I should not use lowercase lower version 21. Oh, then let's just. Um, I meant to use 21 SDK. I don't know what happened. Did I use 22? Oh, well, I guess I did. Um, ah, geez. Uh, that should be fine, right? I don't know. Um, let's just go. Let's make, maybe, maybe that'll work. Maybe, maybe that'll be fine. Uh, yeah, that should be fine. Let's, let's move ahead. Save it just in case. I'm gonna go back to the main activity. So why is this crossed out? Um, all right, so I guess it's already saying that the action bar activity is already crossed out or already deprecated, which means it's not really being in use anymore. I bet if we click on more, it'll tell us what's being used. Um, let's use the 
the specified inspection scope. Oh, well, it doesn't really matter. Um, all we're going to be doing, we're going to erase that and put activity. And now it's going to ask for its imports, kind of what allows us to branch off the activity. The activity will take certain things that it needs to run. You know, there's certain function calls that it needs for the application to run because we're extending off the activity. Our public cache is called main activity. That's what we did before we even created that, or when we created the app, it gave us the option to change that name. But again, I just went ahead and called it main activity. It extends off activity, you know, something else can extend off like a web view or a fragment or kind of another, I don't know, another, uh, uh, like another framework that would build kind of your script that you kind of want the application to do. But um, for right now, an activity is kind of like just the main scene or kind of what your Android phone is showing. Um, you know, it's kind of like the scene view. Uh, yeah, oh, we gotta add this. So, what do we, I gotta do? I'll enter. Yeah. I'll enter. There we go. And that got rid of all the red, which is awesome. But you can see, uh, you know, the first thing that we're overriding is the onCreate method. And what that's really gonna do is populate our layout that we want, the, uh, the view that we want. And we call that activity main. We'll jump into that in just a little bit. Um, everything else, you know, it's just standard. It comes with the uh, with the activity class. But right now, let's jump over to the layout and get cracking on that. But again, I think we have our application set up. I'll check again a little bit after the video, just to make sure everything's straight. But um, let's end the video there. So we have this set up. We're ready to attack. Maybe input some code. We'll jump to the layouts and um, create how we're gonna make our app look. I'll see you in the next video.